I'm Shruti Sukhvekar, born and brought up in Pune. I am a psychological counselor, a hypnotherapist, a past life regression therapist, and an NLP master practitioner. I'm also a behavioral trainer in organizations and educational institutions. Today, I'm here to share a few ideas which I have been brooding over, which I've been thinking about. I have been in this line for the last almost 10 plus years. And I have my own healing studio by the name of Soles near Nilayan Theater. That is where I practice and that is where I do all these uh, counseling sessions and therapy sessions. Now, uh, before uh, going ahead, I would definitely want to share that uh, I'm coming here. I mean, I'm talking to all of you because there is an amazing initiative, an amazing idea. You know, everything starts with an idea, let me say. So this is an initiative which I have thought about, which is Soul Talk, which is going to have lots of, you know, ideas coming up with. But before that, I would like to, um, you know, invite, or rather she's already sitting with me. You must be wondering who's sitting here with me. She's Aditi. She has been my client and now my mentee. And she would also want to share something with you. And I think uh, we will take the talks ahead once she has introduced herself. Over to you. Yeah, so hello everyone. And I have been coming to Hippie Lab since last two years. And I'm so glad that I'm a part of this amazing initiative that she has started with. Uh, as all of us know that there are numerous problems that we deal with every single day, maybe personal, maybe professional. So there was this day in my life as well when I could not make sense of what was happening around me. And she helped me through it. And today I can say that smiling and being this happy is no more a burden and a task. Because there was a point, I will be very honest, that I didn't feel like, uh, you know, having fun or being happy or, you know, just smiling and uh, going through a day without crying or, you know, having a total breakdown. So I am so glad today that... I have overcome all of that with whatever she has taught me <laughs> in the head and I am so glad that I resonate with her idea of helping people and that has brought me here to be a part of this amazing initiative which we should now move forward. Wonderful and I welcome you on board Aditi. So tell us how <laughs> exactly are we going to help people in yeah. this uh, series yes. that is like they are coming. Yeah. After. Uh, so, um, Soul Talk is an initiative which actually uh, originated or I thought about it in this, uh, I mean, pandemic situation, this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, terrible pandemic situation that we have been going through for the last six, seven months now. And it is uh, actually where I felt that every single person needs somebody to talk to. Every person, it need not be a huge problem. It can be a very small problem of just waking up in the morning and saying, I don't feel so good about the day, you know, what's so good about the day. Can make the day good, you know, yes. by thinking good. So talking, you know, positivity and thinking uh, good things, so on and so forth. But what happens is it needs to start from within. So I feel uh, that what I have been doing for the last 12 plus years uh, the counseling sector. So I will share what I do uh, from that so that it fits into the why the idea of soul talk came up. Uh, everybody, I mean, majority of the people, some people uh, love to say that I don't need anyone to talk to, but generally people need someone to talk to, someone to share problems, issues, challenges, you name the word. I mean, it's all these are just names. But there is something which is not happening right in your life and you want to tell someone, you want to vent out, you want to, you know, share your emotions, how are you feeling. And there are various emotions, you know, there is fear, there is hatred, there is anger, so on and so forth. How and where do you express this? Normally what happens is if you don't express, you suppress it. So counseling services that I have here in Soles in my healing studio, um, contribute to this. So, um, a client, a person comes to me who is ready for these services and I counsel the person. So, the first thing I do is I listen to the person. Because there are people who do not, who 
want someone to listen to. Uh, uh, you know, an uh, active listening, as we call it in the corporates, the active listening is needed. That somebody who's observing, who's alert, and who understands, you know, what you're talking about. So that's the first thing. And I think that is where, um, with Aditi, it, uh, I mean, it clicked uh, from her side because she felt that there is somebody to, who, who's listening to me, you know, who's understanding what I really want to say. Because in counseling, it also happens that people are saying, they're talking about what is happening to them. But as a counselor, when I'm sitting here, uh, my role comes in reading between the lines. Mm -hmm. So I think with Aditi, uh, she can also share and uh, talk more about counselling. Because it helped a lot reading between the lines. Yeah. You know, what is she not able to verbalise? Uh, that was something which I picked up. Yeah. And, and that's would, where the yeah. bonding and the connect happened. So, yeah. Yeah, so I, will, I would also like to add to this is normally when you share something with somebody, either it could be your friends or even mm. it could be your family, yeah. people tend to judge you. People tend to be biased. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They tell you, they just, you know, give you some advice, uh, something like <laughs> yeah. just get over it or, yeah. you know, just don't overthink it, something like that. But in counseling, it doesn't happen. She will not. Uh, you know, give you any advice immediately. She will yeah. listen to you. She will have an active listening ear, and she will she will try to understand what is going on exactly. Because it's not just about that situation. It is not just about that challenge that you are facing. It could be it could be having more to do with yeah. who you are as a person, or what was yeah. your history like, and what could be your patterns. You yeah. have certain behavioral patterns so, that which could you know contribute to yeah. you reacting in a situation. A specific way so that is what i feel is a bigger is a huge difference uh, between talking to somebody who you know and talking to a counselor yeah so i think professional services right. is something which is more important so um this the, so the counseling part for the viewers here will be from a point where uh, you know you are having a lot of feeling a lot of stress you're not able to cope up with your daily activities daily relationship issues you know something which is not happening right there are so many lifestyle issues like health problems I mean, time management you're not able to organize plan deal with your day, daily life you know and so small things you know i'm not saying that everything has uh, has to do with going to a counselor but there is more about acceptance here you know the first thing that a person needs to do is accept that okay, this is something which is not happening right for me, which earlier used to. So the acceptance part comes first, the awareness comes immediately and then you start understanding, oh, okay, so this is not happening right. What needs to happen right? So what you have done actually is you have evaluated yourself. Right. So now I'm coming to a few philosophies which you know I've been following for so many years is evaluate. So, evaluate is assess, understand yourself, you know, be self-aware. So, this becomes the first step. And then after that, we take it forward to the deeper issues where there are fears and fears which go at a very deeper level and that is phobias. Then we go to a lot of depressive mentalities which people, uh, you know, suffer with. And uh, suicidal tendencies, I mean, that is, unfortunately, that is what we have seen in this pandemic, that there are a lot of people who are, you know, jobless, who do not have any purpose in life, the goal is not set, they feel now it's the end of the world, and, you know, nothing can be done of their life. That is scary, absolutely, that is scary for people. So that is where the these different uh, stress patterns, these depressive mentalities come in. Uh, those require a little bit of deeper areas, you know, deeper uh, plunges into areas like therapy work. So there's a lot of therapy work uh, in which the modalities which I use is hypnotherapy, uh, therapy primordially and uh, past life regression, chakra healing, I do intuitive healing. So all that. So that becomes an integrated package for the person. So I think with uh, Aditi will share more about how she has gone through uh, therapy and what is her experience yeah so uh, as you said that there are a lot of things which are very serious uh, which are more serious than the normal 
uh, things which we deal in counseling. Uh, there could be certain traumas that you must have faced in the past which are not healed yet and uh, unless and until you heal those areas or those feelings that you have been having or carrying with you since so long, uh, you won't be able to you know, start with a new clean slate with uh, you know, these good feelings and yeah. positive feelings uh, about the future and that is what we did with me, I guess typically there were a few yes. areas and a uh, few incidences which I was not over yet or few traumatic situations which I never dealt with uh, myself and uh, that is where she helped me and after that I feel, uh, I felt better, I, I had this sense of uh, being empowered by evaluating and enhancing myself so I worked on myself, it was not a one way journey okay. also uh, the person who is coming here has to work on himself or herself and you have to take efforts like you have to uh, take yourself seriously and do these positive uh, uh, practices which will help you yeah. to overcome these situations that you are facing so there were there were many situations which actually Aditi uh, went through we will not go into the details of course but uh, I would say that enhancing was the part where uh, you need to understand where the person uh, has the strengths and where are the weaknesses. Because every person has strengths and weaknesses. What are the opportunities and what are the threats? Basically a SWOT analysis for people who know about SWOT. Uh, that is what is done in the second step that is enhanced. Where uh, I found out I made her write down her own SWOT. I uh, understood where the weaknesses are coming from, where the strength. Now, normally what happens is we say weaknesses, achha, these are your weaknesses, okay? And this is your strength, you know? Normally also you have a negative and a positive approach to it. Uh, what I do in enhancing is I try to find out or I have tools where I figure out, try to understand from the client that whether it's a weakness, weakness or whether it is something that has been a habitual weakness. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes it happens that maybe there are a couple of situations where you had decided that I'm not going to do this. Why? Because somewhere in her journey of life, she had decided that no, I don't think I'm good enough. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not good enough to do this. I'm not good enough to do that. You know, people have told me. So yeah. the judgmental part that she shared was that so people give advice and ask for. So that unwanted part, that is the decision, that is where you start feeling that that is your weakness. But that may not be your weakness. It's something which needs to be understood. That is where the enhancing part comes in. So I understand where the strengths are. Prepare her for through her strengths, but also make her understand that she can overcome her fears and overcome her weakness and be, you know, face the fears, kind of, you know. Facing the fears is, again, a bigger challenge. And I I can share that she was really, really scared to face her fears many a times. But once she has done that, there was a lot of amazing shift and transformation in her. And you can see her today. Unfortunately, I don't have her photograph <laughs> when she came to me the first time. Because uh, she did not have a glow, she did not have a smile on her face and uh, you know, all of that. Everybody, I mean, uh, you know, goes through that. But point is, you take responsibility for yourself and say that I am ready, you know. So somewhere I am calling out with all this to everybody outside there, whoever has a problem, whoever has even a slightest thought that, Something is not right in my life, you know. And if that thought persists for a longer time, please, please seek help, seek guidance, go to someone, a counselor, a consultant, a, you know, therapist, who is, who gives you professional help. And that is where the shift happens, the transformation happens. So I'm calling out through the soul talk. And so what soul talk is all about is I'm going to come up with a lot of, with a series of episodes like this where I am going to share a lot about what more, I mean, this was a very short cut 
of uh, what counseling is all about, therapy is all about, and I also worked in coaching. So coaching is another aspect which I also uh, do with uh, people who come to me for that purpose. Uh, so I will be sharing more about that in my various episodes. So these are going to be different. Uh, this is going to be a series of soul talk where souls are talking, and I am uh, the you know the chosen channel to help them into through counseling, through therapy, and through coaching. And I think uh, you have one person here who is already, who was uh, on the other side of the table. Well, did I ever think that I would be on this side of this table? Because typically what happens is the person who comes in is on the other side and she is sharing this wisdom and all these techniques and tools of how you can you know, deal with whatever is going on with you. But today I feel so happy that I'm sitting right next to her I am and happy. I'm contributing in so this. Happy. Yeah. And I would like to say that this is nothing to be ashamed about or embarrassed about because this is very normal, this is very human to feel a certain way and to ask for yeah. help. And I would say that please reach out to us or to anybody who you can if you are feeling this way, if you're feeling not so good for a very longer period of time and you need a helping hand. So please subscribe to this channel and uh, comment uh, on this video, share this video if you have liked it and stay tuned to this place to know more about what counseling is, what therapy is and how you can enhance, empower yourself beginning with evaluating yourself because first as she said means the acceptance that okay something is wrong and I have to correct it. So that will, that need to understand it and to change it is very important otherwise you won't be able to, you know, reach that point where you want to. So helping yourself is needed first. Yeah. Then only somebody else can help you. So yeah, yeah. I think that was wonderfully said. And uh, I always feel that happiness is a choice, and everybody has access to it. And uh, only then you will. And there is peace everywhere. It is inside you. It is outside you. The only thing is, we sometimes forget what peace is all about. We sometimes forget how we can be happy. So yeah. one of the thoughts which I will leave you with is, can you be happy for nothing? You know, just nothing. No materialistic things. Nothing. Can you be just happy on your own without any reason? Think about it and stay tuned. And we'll be sharing uh, a Google uh, form with this link as well. So anything, any feedbacks, all of it, Please, please put it down and send us and we will come up with the answers in the series that we are coming up with. Thank you and be happy.